If you haven't had an opportunity to watch the latest episode of Agent Carter, stop listening now, major spoilers, here we go. Tonight's episode was called Time and Tide. As Agent Carter gets closer to Stark's stolen technology, her secret mission could be unraveled by an SSR arrest. So tonight we lost um, an asshole, and um, that asshole SSR agent was killed tonight um, by an assassination. It was like a hit because they had a um, suspect in custody, um, pretty much the only witness that would have been able to give them information about Peggy Carter and Jarvis, and it would have kind of blew pretty much the cover off of everything. Um, this guy was like a hired um, hired um, um, muscle uh, to do either the Leviathan's um, dirty work or handiwork, whatever you want to call it. And anyway, um, the agent goes to a stop sign as he's driving down this route and for some reason I, which I don't understand I mean the the SSR boss said you know don't use any back roads go a direct route and get this back to the SSR as soon as possible he was referring to uh, Howard Stark's technology but then th th somehow they split up I don't know why um, I, I just don't know why but anyway this the light went from green to red you know from go to stop and then after that um, a car pulled up behind the SSR vehicle, hit it from the rear. Um, the SSR agent got out, and he was like, hey, what's your problem? And then he shot him. Uh, the guy got out of his car and shot him about, I think, four or five times. And they actually showed this, which was really <laughs> fascinating for a, uh, a Marvel film. They actually showed it. Um, yeah, so I, it, for me, I think it's like Marvel is... is, is they're getting a little DC on us. They're getting a little DC comics on us, which is a little bit more adult, and, and I like it. I like it a lot, baby. Keep doing it. Um, let me go back to the beginning of the episode uh, real quick, and then I'll, and I'll come back to um, the um, vehicle um, real quick. There was, last week, there was this symbol that Peggy Carter um, had noticed inside of the sand whenever uh, Let Brannis, he drew this symbol in the sand. I said, after the first and second episode, which aired on the two-hour uh, special, I said they have to address this issue immediately. It needs to happen this episode. And surprisingly, Marvel actually went through with it, and they gave you the riddle. They solved the riddle. What ends up happening is that the symbol that looks like a heart with a zigzag or a, a line drawn through it is actually a symbol for a boat. It's a boat logo. And it's like a lasso with a heart, but the heart is a map. It's kind of hard to figure out, but if you watch the episode, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that was how uh, Peggy Carter and Jarvis found the location for Tony Stark's technology, which led to them calling in um, calling in the location of, uh, of the boat that led to the... Um, I guess you could say capture, um, or, or for them, the, the SSR securing the evidence, and that's what led to the agent, you know, who's a, who's a dick, total dick, I don't even know his name, he's just a dick, but um, <laughs> that, that led to the agent being assassinated in, in the streets. And um, now, what's kind of crazy is that the SSR hates Howard Stark already, and now they're, they're, they're out for blood for this guy. They don't want this guy to get away now. So that's their whole mission, their sole purpose. I think that was a uh, motorcycle that went by or a moped. But that's their sole purpose for um, existence now, was to take down Howard Stark. They're blaming the murder of the agent, the, the hit on the agent. They're blaming it on him. They're blaming, blaming the death of the um, um, witness on Howard Stark, and they want this guy dead. There was no mention of the Leviathan tonight. There was no mention of... Um, any of those uh, mute guys, but I'm pretty sure that the person that assassinated the SSR agent and the witness was from the Leviathan. We can go ahead and assume that. Uh, what I loved about the episode, we got a little bit more information about Jarvis. Jarvis um, was dishonorably discharged from the military, um, up for treason, and Howard Stark was the one that rescued him or saved him from being um, uh, killed because treason is, is you know, any, any, any sort of treason, you're going to be murdered for that uh, back back in that day. You know, you'd be hung or shot, whatever they, whatever they decided to do. Um, anyway, there was the general that Howard Stark knew, and then that general um, um, kind of gave uh, Howard Stark Jarvis 
And that's how Jarvis and Anna, Anna, who is uh, Jarvis's wife, who is Jewish, um, were able to come and, and, and you know, be amongst uh, Howard Stark. So that's that whole story. And if you want to hear more about that, just put in the comment box and I'll talk about that. But I'm, I'm done with it for right now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, the Griffith. Let's talk about the Griffith. The Griffith is where... Peggy Carter stays, that's where she lives, and it's pretty much like Fort, Fort Knox and Alcatraz, so, you know, you can't get in, and um, whenever you're in there, you know, it's hard to get out, um, but whenever you uh, are uh, trying to get out, it's the easiest way to get out is let a man come inside of your room after hours, and you're done, pretty much, okay, uh, no men uh, above the first floor, that's the rule, so if you, <laughs> if you have a man, you know, they have to leave at a certain hour, it's very respectable, you know, back then, women couldn't, um, couldn't socialize in that way, okay, they couldn't get down and get boogie in the sheets, they couldn't be whores or prostitutes or any of that stuff, all right, um, they couldn't get their groove back, all right, so there was no such thing as Stella got a groove back, back then, there, there just wasn't, there wasn't any rights for women, they had to be perfect, they had to be, um, horrible lies for them, I mean, let me just move on from that, um, but what I love about it, is uh, you were able to kind of see, you know, Peggy Carter, she had moved in that place to kind of, you know, keep up her cover. And it also gives you an opportunity to learn a little bit about how Peggy Carter lives. Um, you know, um, she's very secure, man. She has weapons around the house. Um, she keeps a tight shift and, and her, her ship is really clean and, and all that good stuff, man. Um, we found out tonight that uh, Let Brennis died two years ago. So is Let Brennis a actual walking dead zombie we never know was he brung back to life by some sort of um i don't know leviathan ooze we never know we don't know yet we're gonna find all those answers out that's all the stuff that was addressed tonight um solid episode man 10 out of 10 stars i loved everything about it especially how peggy carter she put so much in on her off time you know spying and in 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 trying to you know free up um and, and clear Howard Stark's name, but she gets no credit for it, and she also gets hell from her boss, and her boss treats her like garbage, you know, they try to blame every single thing on her, um, whenever Jarvis got caught tonight, and he was interrogated, and almost uh, possibly put in jail, because on the second episode, at the end of the episode, they found uh, Howard Stark's license plate, and the license plate now was tied into, you know, Howard Stark, and the only person that was there, because Howard Stark is obviously, you know, he's gone, he's, he's out of the country or whatever, is Jarvis, so the police, or the SSR, they decided to take Jarvis into custody. Uh, long story short, Peggy Carter was able to save him, and that's when we learned about the dishonor discharge, all that good stuff, but it's, it's just really, really cool, man. I love how, you know, we're able to learn about this guy. Guy, man, and they answered all the questions. Just, a, I guess, a really, really solid episode, man. A really, really solid episode. I mean, I absolutely love what Marvel's doing, man. I mean, seriously, I don't like the Age of Ultron trailer. I didn't like the Ant Man trailer. I didn't like Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, it, it felt like if here's 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 my here's what I'm, what I'm, what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm kind of going off subject for right now, so you can actually stop listening if you don't want to hear this. But anyway, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the TV, the Marvel television universe, is what Marvel's focused on now. Because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2 is by far the best Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episodes ever. And it's, it's actually the best Marvel content and how it ties into the cinematic universe ever. And I think that Peggy Carter is actually better than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it's actually almost better than <laughs> the Captain America, the first Avenger, which is very surprising, man, because that's one of my favorite Marvel films besides, you know, um, both Hawks, Hulk and the, the Incredible Hulk. Um, I think that's where their focus is at. I think that that is where all their attention's at. And that's why I didn't really like the Ant-Man trailer. Um, the first and second trailer for uh, Avengers is, is, is really not appeasing to me. It's it's. I mean, it's, it's the same stuff with just a little bit added stuff, you know, they just added the Hulk in there where he kicks the car and then the two police officers that are behind the car don't get killed. Like, what the hell is that? But anyway, I, I, it's not about them not, you know, it's not about the fact that they're not killed. No, it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't interest me right now. You know, I'm, I'll probably end up going to see Avengers, but I don't know about Ant-Man. I don't know about um, any other future films, man. It just, I don't know. It feels like they lost their magic and mojo, and I'm fine with that. Just as long as the television universe continues to go straight. And then, you know, maybe later on they could pick it up for, like, you know, Captain America, um, Civil War, or, or the Avengers uh, Infinity Gauntlet 1 and 2. I mean, as long as they, they, they know what they're doing, I guess that's what the point I'm trying to make. So... 
I don't know if that's going to change later on on how I feel about this, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Peggy Carter, the way that she's going right now, she'll end up uh, in my rating book with a 10 out of 10 stars, a perfect season um, for a mini series or whatever. This is it's excellent, man, and and I love how she, the you know the actress, man. Um, hasn't aged it seems like as if she hasn't aged now that could be cgi it could just be her 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 um you know skin or whatever you know her genes but it seems as if no no time has passed and it's very very important man because a lot of time has passed since since uh, captain america the first avenger um a lot of time has passed since you know um old ass peggy carter was sitting there coughing on damn um the winter soldier but <laughs> It just seems as if it's a seamless transition from the cinematic universe to the television universe, and that is absolutely beautiful, man. Um, seriously, man, if 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 there's any Marvel uh, creators out there that are that are that are listening to this, which uh, I'm pretty sure there aren't, but if there are, thank you for what you're doing on Agent Carter. It is absolutely the best thing on television right now. And that's saying a lot. Now, obviously, you know, The Walking Dead is not on. Bates Motel is not on. <laughs> Orphan Black is not on. Intruders is not back on. Um, Banshee only comes on Friday, so I can't really compare it because this is a Monday or Tuesday, sure, or whatever the hell day it is. But anyway, guys, I uh, <laughs> I digress, man. I've had to get out of here. It's a Tuesday show, that's right, because it's Tuesday, January 13th, 2015. Guys, thanks again for listening, watching, doing all that good stuff, man. I really appreciate it, man. Right out of here. Comment, like, subscribe, and if you did watch the episode, what do you uh, like most about it? And are you continuing to watch Agent Carter? Are you supporting our show? Um, man, God bless America, man. Thank you, Captain America. Thank you.